Hi, it's Ray Shaleen. Tonight I want to show you a, a project. Um, this is a scratch build project that one of my students, Sean Colson, is making. Uh, I met Sean a couple years ago, uh, probably like two and a half years ago, down in my shop at Stafford Springs. He showed up one day and said he wanted to build a scratch build car. And he had some experience making, uh, I think, like Formula V racing chassis and stuff through the years. Lifelong car guy and um, he felt that he could make a, a decent chassis. His plan was to take and use a, a Curtis, uh, Frank Curtis design Indy car as a basis for what the look of it is, uh, which was a single seat car, but he wanted a double, typical d double seat car, regular passenger car for, the, for regular use on the street. And um, working a couple nights a week at his house in uh, Rhode Island, uh, he put a plan together, built this chassis all himself, and uh, for the running gear, he used a Pontiac Solstice drive line, which he was able to get at a very uh, inexpensive price from somebody in Texas. It only has, I think, like 3,000 miles on it or so. It has, this particular one has a supercharger in it. And it's capable of putting like 320 horsepower out like nothing without doing too much to it. Um, he also got the rear end, which is a really nice cast, all kinds of fins and everything. It looks like it was made in the 50s in, in Italy or something. It's just a magnificent, nice little uh, independent rear axle. And a nice five-speed train that came with it. So all the suspension bits, all the running gear, so that set him up pretty good. He made a, a, a frame jig at his house. He's got a two-car garage to work out of and built this uh, frame. He only had a, a bend of a few tubes. And this is one of the projects that we use uh, in the coach building class, my coach building class, which happens every month. And in the March class, uh, we made a bunch of these panels. There's a bunch of them that are not here right now. We pretty much uh, wrapped around this whole tail, making these are uh, what I call prototype panels. Sean um, made the wire form. And then using the wire form as a shape guide, we will make the, the panels in the class. Um, Sean has taken home a couple of the panels and he's making uh, flexible shape patterns off of these panels. And then it will be turned from steel into aluminum at another class. And the object is to uh, completely skin this entire body. And Sean does some of that himself. He comes in on Wednesdays. That's his day off from his regular job. He's a podiatrist. And uh, he gets Wednesdays off. And this is a fun day to come at my shop. I have a program called Shop Time. <clears throat> Anybody that takes my class can participate in it. There's a small hourly fee for uh, <clears throat> working in the shop, which allows you to use all the equipment. And you have everybody's expertise in the shops uh, at your beck and call. Um, but you're doing the work in the shop time program. And in addition to that, uh, I'm helping Sean out by um, having the students make these, these panels. So these uh, back panels were all made in the March class in steel. This back deck lid, uh, which is going to get cut up for a small trunk, and there will be a, uh, a head net, headrest in the cell put on here. We still have got to do that. He's got a wire form. He'll be in Wednesday and probably make the wire form for that headrest in the cell. And uh, all these steel panels will get turned into aluminum panels. We'll use 060 3003 aluminum. And the steel panels uh, are a nice feature because it, it allows you to figure out what needs to happen and they're just preliminary panels. They'll eventually be chucked out. But um, you can see how the flow of the body is going to be, and then you can make changes. And of course, steel is a lot cheaper than aluminum. So it's a great learning exercise for the coach building class people. It's a great learning exercise for Sean. Anybody that can build this body and do a nice job can make another hundred of them if they want to. And this is very similar to. You're taking my class and you're going to work on a project like this. This is like if you went to a, a small uh, coach building firm in Italy and they opened the door and brought you in and showed you how to build a Ferrari body or a Lancia body or an Alpha body. It's a, it's a pretty good opportunity. So uh, Sean's having a really great time doing it.
um, on the nose. He's making a wood hammer form. He, he originally had a steel piece there, and now he's making it a little bit bigger, or uh, smaller, uh, with the uh, uh, different radiuses uh, for the nose piece. So he's working on that, and then the aluminum will be hammer formed around it. These panels were originally done in steel uh, by the students, and then uh, Sean did this panel uh, after from the steel panel in aluminum and then this panel was done in March by uh, one of the students and now uh, it's been turned into an aluminum panel by Sean and I'd helped him out a little bit with it and that's coming together pretty nice and now the next class which will be the April class which starts in a couple of days will make a flexible shape pattern off of that and that's my technique that I developed making the flexible shape pattern and that will allow us to make a complete other side, a, a very uh, perfect symmetrical reverse of this right side to make the left side of it. Uh, it's got four inch ground clearance, uh, Sean intends to use this as an everyday good weather driver and it's just going to be a lot of fun. He was able to buy these Halibrand wheels which are uh, very close to the original Curtis uh, used that similar wheel to that and they, they were pretty reasonable. Um, the Pontiac Solstice suspension geometry and everything, it's all the same as what Sean has here uh, but he substituted in, uh, the original cast or forge pieces with these uh, front end bits that he made himself out of tubing the A-arms and stuff. Um, and the original Pontiac wheels had a deep dish which brought the wheels in and uh, made them narrow a track. This has a very wide track but that'll make it super stable. So uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful project and Sean uh, should be really proud of himself when he gets it done and he's getting the help of the classes and I mean how, how could it be any better? I, th I think it's just going to be magnificent when it's done. So thanks for listening to this story. It's Ray Shaleen, broshaper.com. Thank you. Bye.